Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on matrices in R. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about adding and removing rows and columns. Uh, so for that, uh, let's create a matrix N. Okay, this matrix uh, has elements from 11 to 12, 11 to 25 and has five rows and it will be created row wise. So let's see our matrix N. Okay, then um, I'm going to start with editing rows and columns in a matrix. So uh, the number of rows can be added to a given matrix using this rbind function. The only necessary condition uh, to use this function is that the matrix to be added uh, as well as the matrix to which the rows are to be added um, must have same number of columns. Our original matrix M has three columns. Uh, so I'm going to create uh, a matrix X1 uh, with the same number of columns, uh, that is same number of columns which is 3. So you can see uh, X2 has 3 columns. So we can um, now use the rbind function to add uh, this matrix X1 to the original matrix M uh, in this case and say a new matrix M1 is created. So you can see um, uh, two rows has been added to the original matrix M. We can also add columns uh, using the C bind function uh, and the condition in this case is that the matrix to be added as well as the matrix to which the rows, uh, sorry, the columns are to be added um, will have same number of rows. So uh, our original matrix um, M had um, five rows. Uh, so I'm going to create a matrix X2, uh, which has also five rows. So you can see matrix X2 uh, has five rows. Then uh, we can use the CBind function to add this matrix X2 to the original matrix M. And let's see a new matrix M2 is created. And let's see our matrix M2. So you can see uh, two columns um, have been added to the original matrix M. We can also remove uh, rows and columns um, by giving negative indices to the respective rows and columns. So for example, uh, if we want to remove the third column uh, of the matrix M, and then um, uh, we can give minus three value to the column index uh, and the row index have uh, have non values that is it is not necessary to provide any values to the rows that means entire rows will be included so let's remove a third column okay so you can see all uh, we have only two columns um, from the matrix m in this case because we removed the third column we can also remove multiple rows uh, or columns so let's remove um, the fourth and fifth rows from the matrix m in this case, uh, I have used a C function and there is a negative sign before that. So you can see we have only um, three rows uh, now because we removed the fourth and fifth rows. Uh, we can also use a column operator uh, to do that. Uh, so in this case, I'm using a column operator to remove uh, third, uh, second, third, and fourth uh, rows from the matrix M. Okay, so uh, so you can see here the, we have only the first and fifth row of the matrix M. The second, third, and fourth uh, rows have been removed. 